Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show with your hosts, Lee Silver and Ellen Goodwin. Welcome to another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better show. I'm your co-host, Ellen Goodwin, along with my co-host... No. No? No. Okay. So, Lee's just not participating today. No, it's the topic of our of our episode. It, we're We're bringing back a, a, an important one uh, that we did back in the hundreds. Like a, when we were, like a hundred we were, episodes ago. Yes. And we, it is the power of no. The power of saying no. Do you want to start? No. Okay, I knew you were trying to get me to say yes. I could just tell it's a trick. It's a trick. <laughs> Such a trick. Do you trick. like candy? Ugh, no. No. It's a lie. But... <laughs> okay. So you've probably heard saying no to someone means saying yes to yourself. And I know you think saying yes to yourself is no to someone else. So I think it's a great idea because when someone asked us to do something, we are giving up part of our time. And sometimes that's awesome, and but sometimes it, it's not productive. A lot of times it's not productive. Well, I mean, we have a, there's a deeper, me, there's a lot of things we talk about. There's a deeper reason behind it and the willingness to say yes to something that you don't like to do, you shouldn't do, isn't efficient for you to do. It comes from that ability to not value your time enough to say no. If you put more value on you and your time, I know this is a much deeper issue than we probably normally would get into. And I will lie on the couch and tell you all about my mother. We don't have time for that. I know. (laughs) We do not have that much time. But I I get it. I mean, you know, I I hope that I do this enough when we, when I talk on this episode, on, on any episode, hopefully back in the hundreds. And now I always say we, it's not, you should do this and you should do that. We, we all struggle with, with this, I think, because who, who doesn't want to help somebody out when they need it? Who doesn't want to, you know, jump in and, and be that person that's the you know, Johnny on the spot? Or who doesn't want to be the person that everyone likes because you're there for them when they need you and you're always willing to lend a helping hand? But at, at the cost of, if you're willing to pay the price, but at the cost of you not being able to do what you want to do, what you need to do, and what I think it's part of what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking as you're talking, I'm thinking about, you know, it's slowed down as we've gotten older. But I mean, how many Saturdays and Sundays did you give up helping people move? Hey, help me move my stuff and there'll be pizza and beer. And you're like, yeah, but what did that do for you? It might have been helpful but in good. But at this point, you know, in my life, it's like, eh, hire a moving company. <laughs> well, that's actually the, you know, cause I'm coaching a lot of sports and I'm dealing with millennials and Gen Y uh, and Careful. Gen Z, I should say. And, um, what I like about them is they are more, they value their time more. They're more willing to spend the money to pay someone to do something that they hate to do, aren't good at it. And, and when they figure out, hey, I could be doing this and make even more money than it costs me to do that, you know, they're they're in some ways much more um, better about saying no to things. Um, whatever for whatever reason, it just seems that they're smarter about picking and choosing which projects they're going to take on and which things they feel they can delegate or when I say delegate, hire someone else to yeah. do. And in the end, that's the right move. It totally is the right move. That have someone else do things. But uh, but one of the things I'm encountering is I'm uh, people come to me on LinkedIn. And the first thing, rather than saying, hey, I'd like to get to know you better, they, you know, hey, let's have, a, let's have a sales call right away. And I'm like, I really no. Well, these are my times. Well, no, those aren't my times. I'm very particular about when I do things because it's more efficient for me. And I found when I say no, they get upset. But it's I'm saying yes to me and my time because I don't want to take time that I know where I'm really good, let's say in the morning with writing, and then stop because I have to do this phone call with someone I don't know just because they want to. Now, if we'd had a little conversation, a little back and forth where I, I kind of understood why they wanted to talk, you know, I'm not just saying no to be mean. I just need to say yes to me. Wow. 
We should end on that note because that really sums up as you're talking. The the one thing I would add is every time you say yes to someone, it's a no to some to you, right? Meaning I'm going to give yeah. you a piece of my life. It's not like I'm going to give you five minutes or I'm giving you a piece of my life. And when you think of it that way, if you value your life, you say, well, gee. And then you're also helping them reach their goals, helping them, you know, yeah. succeed, which is not a bad thing. No, that's a but, great thing. But it also, if you do it too much, you're, re- you're helping someone else reach their goals while your goals aren't being reached. You're helping them finish their products while yours are, are unfinished. You're, you're giving a piece of your life for someone to, that you could use for yourself <laughs> just to be aware of how much it really costs when you say yes and know that no is a, a very powerful tool. And the more you use it, the more you're going to feel good about, wow, that was, that was that felt good. Like if you've ever been to a party, said, I'm going to go to that party. And then you, it gets canceled and you feel like, oh, thank goodness. I didn't <laughs> want to go anyway. And that feels good. Like, oh, I just want to stay home in my pajamas. You can get that feeling all the time, that warm, cozy feeling in your pajamas by saying no. It just means yes to you and you are valuable. No is a complete sentence. Start using it more. But don't say no to subscribing, liking, and reviewing our podcast and be back with us again next week for another episode of the Faster, Easier, Better Show. 